Riled Kitty. <coughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Riled Kitty. And today we are going to be playing The Silent Age. And this is part four. Do you remember what happened in part three, RK? Just a little recap. No, not really, actually. <laughs> so I think I don't. that was one where we had to, we um, oh, wait, broke yeah, out of the yeah. police station. Yeah, I remember. I think. If I go back to three for just a second. I can only remember the, the, the hotel part, really. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. He didn't. He didn't get out of the the police station. That was in two. This that was one where he went to the hotel. Yeah. And he there was like the police car and everything. Uh huh. And the poison ivy in the pot. Yep, that he put the wallpaper paste on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's been a couple of days since we played. So I gotta I gotta read this little recap here too for uh for my memory so I can remember what's going on. The entry, Chapter 4, In Pursuit of the Time Traveler, Joe has finally managed to get to the hospital. He has? <laughs> Gaining entry without getting caught, however, is another matter entirely. Joe must use every ounce of his wit this time. I don't remember us getting into the hospital yeah. quite yet. I guess maybe we're there. As soon as we got through that door. Is this the hospital? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Wait, this is weird. So this is that window of that apartment? It just goes out into this. Like, what the heck? This looks like a butcher. Oh yeah, it is. Butcher shop window. It's a butcher shop. I know property prices in this town are through the roof, but who in their right mind would open a butcher shop right next to a hospital? Well, I guess he's thinking kind of the same thing I am. So this is like oh. an this is like an apartment. This is a hospital. And right in between it, there's like a pig hanging in the window, or like some big hunk of uh, of a cow or something. I wouldn't want to be in that apartment. I know. I think it would probably smell or something yeah. too, right? All right, what is this thing? All right, should I go? Let me let me push this just to see. Okay, so the oh, oh, so that was the present. Okay, I was thinking that was the future. Meat hook. Let's grab that. That looks handy. It's a somewhat scary looking meat hook. All right, that looks like a like a leg bone or something. I don't want to touch that. All right, what is this broken? Let's say plate? Yeah, broken plate. Huh. There's something round underneath the dirt. Dust. Something underneath here, but it's totally covered with dust and grime. Let's go back to the past. To the present, rather. Can't even see. What? What is that? Doesn't that look like a little hand or something poking up right there? <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is the present, so I don't think it's actually a hand, but the air from this fan has a slight hint of fresh meat and cleaning supplies. Right, let's push this button. Is anyone actually nice here? Hey, it opened the door. Things are finally looking up for me. Does that open it in the past or the, the future too? Nope. Passage to hospital front. The electric lock on this fence must have stopped working years ago. So I wonder why it's not open now that I opened it in the in the present. I thought that was the case. Here, let me try using the meat hook with this dust. Maybe I can pull up something. Nope. Well, if only I could find a way to sweep the dirt away. Okay, so I need like a broom or something. Alright, so let's go through here. Oh, it's the hospital. Look at that. These two dudes are just standing at the door smoking. <laughs> so we having a chit a chit chat. Bottle of turpentine. Don't mind if I do. Oh, he didn't take it. It's a bottle of turpentine, corrosive and flammable. This should come in handy. I probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle though. The painter will notice it's gone and alert the officer. Can of paint, it's a can of paint. Drain. I can feel the draft from the sewer tunnel below. So I can just walk past them without them noticing, I guess. Locked container. Can I use the meat hook on that? The hook's too big to be used as a lock pick and too flimsy to be used as a crowbar. See, I wonder if I can use the meat hook to pull the drain up, maybe? Just checking everything and then I'll go back. Way too heavy. Not a bad idea though. The hook might be useful. Something a little less heavy. All right, let's go to the the future. Paint's still there. Hey, this guy didn't get much further than 
Oh, look, is that him right there? <laughs> Corpse. <laughs> I gotta go back and check the hat. There's a lighter wedge between his ribs. He won't be needing it anymore. I gotta go. I've seen three dead people today. I should be able to stomach this by now, but the only thing keeping me from throwing up is how surreal this all feels. Hornet's nest. I probably can't get to the door because of that. Let me check. I want to check if that's the painter's hat. Yep, it is. <laughs> uh, all right. Can I get in the lock container now? Nope. It rattles. So I have a lighter. And I have... I can get turpentine. Am I supposed to, like, burn the bee's nest or something? Let me look at this. No. I'm not getting any closer. I'm crazy allergic to bees. I fell off the roof of an apartment building cleaning windows in 65. I knocked over a bee's nest and held on to the drain pipe for 35 minutes before the fire department showed up. They removed 137 stingers at the hospital. Said uh, I was lucky to be alive. Don't feel so lucky to me. I've been allergic. I missed the last word. Sorry, RK. Overgrown area. What if I use this lighter with the turpentine? <laughs> Just light her up. Good idea if I want to get caught or shot. Painter. From his clothes, I'm guessing he's the painter. It's a police officer. I can make out a few words every time he raises his voice. He's clearly looking for someone. Mm hmm. Who could that be? Do I want to look at the drain in the future, too, just to see? You can feel the draft. Okay. Well, what are we missing? I wonder if there's like a rag or something I can dip in that turpentine or something. Trash can, maybe something in there. Missed that right away. Hey, there's a broom. Looks helpful. For a second there, I got all excited and thought of renewing my old broom would f without filling out an application. I really need to find a different line of work. Sorry, I missed that line. All right, I was getting so excited to brush this dust away. It's a manhole. All right, that's what I need that for. Are you going to go down there? Heck yeah. Oh, heavy. Seems like a bad idea. There's got to be something good down there so I can blow up that bee's nest. A bar? Like a crowbar? It's a loose rung from the ladder. I'm taking it with me. If anything survived this world, it'll be hungry by now, and I need some, something to defend myself. It's probably been years since this worked. Right, anything else? Rubble? Rusty iron bars? Even if I somehow made it through those bars, there's like two tons of girders and other rubble in my way. I could make the text a little bit slower. It'd be fine if I was just reading it, but um, most of the walls and some of the ceilings has been dislodged. I won't be getting anywhere in that direction. That metal rod might come in handy, though. All right, where's the metal rod? Let me go to the the present. Metal things feels like metal. All right, so what was, I missed where the metal, rusty iron bars. I hope the sewer is done collapsing on itself. I really don't want to be down here when the rest of it goes. Let me just read the rubble line one more time. That metal rod might come in handy. Use this with the rubble. There's too much rubble block in the way. Well, let me go back up. Well, actually, can I can I push the switch? Is it there? Oh, it is. Nice. Iron bars. 
Give it a few weeks and I'll probably be slim enough to slip through those. There's got to be a better way, though. What am I missing, RK? I don't know. The entrance is blocked. I can see the bottom of one of those red dumpsters through the holes in the lid. Can I get back up? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So now I have a bar, so can I pry open that? I wonder if I can pry open that uh, locked bin. Please work. Police officer right at the entrance. Okay, so let's do this in the future. Alright, what do we get? A container? Oh, it's a bone saw. <laughs> Apart from the goop, it doesn't even look like it's been used. Alright, so maybe that's what I used to saw off the iron bars, but what the heck do I use the iron? I wonder if I'm just trying to get into the into the hospital through there. Definitely still not sure what I'm doing with that turpentine and the lighter. Alright, so let's try this again now. Bone saw with the iron bars. <laughs> I bet I could cut through a car with this. Oh, man. Uh, oh, shucks, it broke. All right, let's go. <laughs> Where am I going to be now? I don't know. Oh, syringe. Okay, that's probably how I get the turpentine. What do I do with that? Eject it into the beehive? It's a syringe. Paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. All right, anything else down here? Rubble. It's a bunch of wooden beams. Must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. I can see the hospital sign through the grill. I must be right in front of the entrance. And that's blocked, so I'll go back this way. Now we're making progress, RK. Yeah. All right, use this with the turpentine. Da dum dum. Nothing suspicious going on here. There, the syringe is full of turpentine now. Okay. Can I use a syringe with the hornet's nest? <laughs> Maybe I just shoot it. Maybe I should try something else. No. So there's got to be something else. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Can of paint. Paint looks fine to me. Don't take the paint. Sign? I miss the sign, I guess. This is the place, all right. Now I just need to get in there and hopefully find the time travel guy. Right, so there's got to be something I can use that syringe with. 
to burn the hornet's nest. The only other thing I... There's like that rug that's still... Uh. So maybe I just pick up that rug again, like put it under the hornet's nest and light it on fire. Man, I keep clicking off the screen. All right. I think the only thing I can think of... No, I can't pick up the rug. I'm a trash. And there's nothing here, right? Can't get in there. back down for a second, just make sure we didn't miss anything. That looks exactly the same. <coughs> Got nothing there. Oh, I wonder, do I... Wait, can I just use syringe with lighter? No. All right, so let me just try the last thing I could think of, light this wood on fire. Maybe that'll burn the bees away. Oh, wood is so soaked in turpentine now. All right, let's light it up. Wait, HP, I have a question. What up? Whoa, what? my sleeve what almost caught on fire. It's like uh, flammable stuff used for like paint. Oh. Paint thinner kind of stuff. All right, hopefully the bees are dead now. That'd be nice, right? Yeah. Well, that chapter was cool. That took us a lot longer than I was expecting. Mainly because I got stuck with that syringe thing. All right, bees are gone. All right, let's go. It's chapter five now. It's open. I'm in chapter five, the corpse. Ooh, that sounds creepy. All right, well, why don't you say we wrapped up there, RK? Okay? okay. Part four, chapter oh, four. Yeah. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Share it with a friend. Leave us a comment. We love the comments. Oh, yeah. We don't get enough comments. We reply to all of them because we don't, don't get that many. Um, but yeah, most importantly, if you enjoy this, come back for the next part. We'll be posting that soon. I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching. Riled Kitty. We'll catch y'all soon in something new. Bye.